So we did about logarithmic function, which I suppose among the whole lot is a little tricky and hence do not push it under the carpet. Whenever you take up, take up more number of logarithmic functions. Once you get a hang of it, once you get what the feel of how to do about it, you'll find it the most interesting thing to do. Now we have parametric functions. I had mentioned about parametric functions earlier, which is a very simple concept. In all the examples that we have talked till now, we had y and x related to each other. But I also gave a hint of something in composite functions when we related y with u, u to x like that. So much the same way in parametric functions, what we mean over here is that um, what we have is suppose you have a function y, which is a function of t and x is also a function of t. Then in that case, how do you find dy by dx? So we'll find dy by dt and we also find dy by dx by dt. Yes, then dy by dx would be nothing but dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So you find out the derivative of y with respect to t, derivative of x with respect to t, divide the first by the second and you get dy by dx. This is a concept of parametric functions. So we'll take up examples based on this. Now see for example y is equal to f of t, x is equal to g by t. So as I told earlier, dy by dx is nothing but dy upon dt divided by dx by dt. If you see mathematically also, if you uh, do it as dy by dt into dt by dx, so that gets cancelled and you get dy by dx. So, suppose you have something like this. Now, I want to find dy by dx. So, we find dy by dt. That is, you're differentiating with respect to t. So, it's going to be 5 into 4t cube plus derivative of 3 is 0. So, it's eventually 20t cube. Then, dx by dt is 4 raised to t. So, it will be 4 raised to t, 4 raised to a variable into log 4 to the base e. So, dy by dt is equal, dy by dx, I'm sorry, is dy by dt divided by du, dx by dt, which is 20 t cube upon 4 raised to t log 4 to the base of t. So this is also a very simple concept. Very easily it can be tackled. You need to find out the derivative twice. So differentiate and then find the quotient. And you get dy by dx. Okay. Let's take more examples. You have y is equal to 15 t. So we have dy by dt. Any guesses? Yes, it's going to be 15. Now dx by dt, let's brush up our chain rule concept, log of t cube plus t is nothing but 1 upon t cube plus t, then d by dt of t cube plus t which is 3t square plus 1, right, 3t square plus 1. So this would be eventually 3t square plus 1 upon t into t square plus 1, right. So dy by dx is hence dy by dt upon dx by dt, which is 15 upon this. So it's going to be 15t into t plus 1 upon 3t squared plus 1. Hence, we can find dy by dx. Hence, we are now express the relation between y and x.